Hey, Facebook, YouTube. Um, as promised, I'm doing my couponing video. It took me a couple days because I've had some technical difficulties, but at any rate, here I am. Okay, I've received a lot of questions from people, um, mainly asking me where I get my coupons and basically how I do it. So, this is how I do it. Um, I get my coupons out of the Sunday newspaper. Um, around here, it is the weekend edition, which comes out on Saturday, and today I went and got it. Um, and tomorrow, the Lexington Herald will have the Sunday paper, which is what everybody else usually gets anyways on Sunday. Um, so I will get that also, and it usually has different coupons in it. Um, last week, they were the same in both papers, but this week, hopefully, they'll be different. But anyway, um, you will get coupons in that paper, and they will just be your average coupon, which you will clip cut out. So that's where I get most of my coupons. I also print them from online at coupons.com. Um, there are several places online that you can um, that you can get them from. Usually, most always, um, there is a limit of two per computer that can be printed. So if you have more than one computer, you can take your printer to each computer and print out more, which is what I do. Seems like a hassle, but really it's worth it. And my dog is worth it. Ignore that. <laughs> um, anyway, you can also get coupons from Blinkies. That's the little machines that shoot out little coupons at stores. Um, and those are manufacturer's coupons, so you can use those at any store. You can also get them from the bottom of your receipts. Um, this one is from Family Dollar, and it's for 50 cents off Clorox wipes, but I'll have to use that at Family Dollar, so that's fine. Um, two, on the bottom of your receipts, a lot of times, like with Rite Aid, it's cool stuff like this. Where did it go? There. Uh, tell us about our service and get $3 off your next purchase. Now, I had to go do a survey online. It took me a second. And I printed it off. They emailed me the coupon for that. So, that was cool. Um, some stores like Family Dollar and Kmart and the Dollar General, I think, too, has these coupons. They're for products for their store. Um, you have to use these at that particular store that's on the coupon. Um, but you can pair these, which is called stacking, with a manufacturer's coupon that you printed from online or got in your newspaper. And if it's the same item, you know, obviously this one's for Dove, this one is not, but if it were, and um, if I have a dollar off for Dove on this one, and let's say this was a dollar off Dove on this one, I can put them together and get two dollars off of it. So, you can do that too, but you want to check for the policy. You always want to check for your store's coupon policy, and if you can, go ahead and print those off for each store. That way, if the cashier gives you some trouble, you can just whip it out and school her on it, because a lot of times they don't know, and they get a little bit irate, so you want to keep that in check. Um, you also want to um, make sure that you have your coupons where you can get to them easily when you go to the store. I had an awesome binder my um, husband bought me that had all these cool insert areas for your coupons. I, like a big dummy, left it on top of the car on accident and it got destroyed. It flew out into the road. So it was stupid. But now I'm reduced to this, which is just a pencil holder. But whatever works for you is fine. Um, you can also get your coupons from magazines. Um, I just recently subscribed to Woman's Day because I know there's a lot of coupons in there. Good Housekeeping and a great magazine called All You, which I want to subscribe to also soon. Um, and also there are coupon clipping websites. Those are good for when you want multiples of the same coupon in order to stockpile. For instance, I recently ordered from a coupon clipping service called ManufacturersCoupons.com. Um, I got 20 ivory soap coupons because ivory soap is on sale for 97 cents at Walmart this week. And um, these coupons are for a dollar off every two packs that you buy. Um, so I'll get them for half price. Basically, just round it off to a dollar each even because my, ba my math is horrible. So let's just say they were a dollar each. If I buy two packs, I get, you know, I get them for 50 cents each instead of a dollar. So, um, in other words, by the time I'm finished, I want to have 120 individual full-size bars of soap for around 20 bucks, 19 and change. Totally worth it. Um, you do have to purchase these coupons and multiples on these sites that are manufactured. I mean, Cleaver sites. Uh, they are manufacturer's coupons, though. You can use them at any store. And they're totally legitimate. They're the same thing that comes in the PNG and the Smart Source ads. They give you the coupons in your newspapers. Um, 
people are like, well, you know, how are you saving money if you're spending money to get coupons? Uh, they're very cheap. They're like five cents. I've never sent a coupon over ten cents. And I only spent two dollars and seventy cents on twenty two coupons. I got two extra ones for like the over two. Um, so anyway, once you clip your coupons and you know your store's coupon policy, um, you're going to want to check and see if they have a value card. Like Food City has a value card, Kmart has a value card, um, Rite Aid has a great wellness value card that um, it gives you actually like cash back on the card to spend in the store. So you can end up with a lot of free items that way. You can um, use those value cards to get extra special discounts and you can pay your manufacturer's coupons or in-store coupons if they have them with those. And save a bundle. Um, that doesn't mean you're always going to get stuff for free because you know you won't. I don't always get stuff for free but I have looked out early on in the game I got a lot for free so far because I am stockpiling. I have a big family. You don't have to stockpile. You can if you wish but you don't have to so don't feel the pressure to be like on TV and have a thousand you know rolls of toilet paper but if you want to go for it. Um, that's what the coupons are there for to you so that's why they make them. Um, you know you're going to want to go to sites like coupondivas.com and crazy with a K, crazycouponlady.com and also create or couponcaron.com which is coupon with a K because those sites not only give you coupon databases where you can print off the um, online coupons but they will also um, they also have great videos on there of the women actually going to the stores and shopping and showing you how it's done and they also um, will have an area that's like a it's called matching which means they will take the um, sale papers from the local sale ads from the retail stores the major ones and it will pair it up with coupons that are available to put with those sale items in those ads and show you the scenario of how much you can save if you buy the item at that store with a coupon so it makes it really simple um, you will want to get your sale ads. I mean, you can get them, you know, sometimes they come in the newspapers, they come through the mail to your house sometimes, junk mail, as it used to be called around here, but not anymore. Um, you can also look at them online. All the major retailers do have them online, Walmart, Food City, that kind of thing. Excuse me. Um, and then you want to get the coupons that you have clipped or that you have printed off or whatever. And you're going to want to match those coupons that you're wanting to use with items that are in the sale paper and see if they're in there. I mean obviously you can use coupons you know on stuff that's not on sale but you're way better off if it's on sale because you can get a way better price for it. Um, I think that's really it. I mean it's simple you know you just take the coupon and you use it. It seems a little bit scary and believe me the first time you do it you may have the whole line backed up and the, the cashiers acting squirrely with you and has an attitude and um, the coupons are adding up like you thought and you're not saving as much as you expected but really I promise it gets better <laughs> don't let that discourage you I mean not that that's gonna happen but if it does don't freak out I mean you'll you'll catch on in no time because I have and if I can't anybody can so anyway um, I think that's about it uh, you just want to make sure that you you know dot all your I's and cross your T's and know your stores coupon policy and be sure and check back with all the coupon websites often to see if they've added anything and um, you should be good. If you have any questions or anything, feel free to shoot me a message. I'll answer if I know the answer. And if I don't, I'll try to direct you to somebody that can answer your question. And I think that is it. And um, when I go get on my soap, I want a video of that so you all can watch, watch it on action. Hopefully it goes flawlessly. We shall see. But at any rate, this has been Robin Webb with the Facebook Moment. Again, trying to keep a buck in your pocket.